Hi, it's Joel from Dagnum Electric. We're gonna go over some safety testing tools today. So we got our tester here. We'll just show you this one first. So this is a Klein Tools multimeter tester. So we usually double and triple check our circuits here um, just for safety arc flash issues. Um, also, we don't like it getting shocked. So we have all different features on here. Um, so the one we mostly use is the voltage. So we go over to voltage and uh, select AC current, which is what we're working on in a normal household. Um, so right now, obviously, it says zero on there. Uh, because we have uh, the leads plugged into nothing here. So this is one of our big safety uh, tools because it gives us a very good reading of what the voltage is. Um, so the other ones later on in this video are accurate, but this is the best one. You always test it on a live circuit first, showing that the meter is working. Then you test it on the circuit you're trying to kill um, or uh, shut off. And then it'll show you um, this showing about zero volts. Um, and it'll show you that the circuit is dead and then it's uh, okay to work on um, pulling a plug out or a light fixture or any of those. So this is one of the best tools, a bit more expensive, but it's the best uh, certain tool to make sure the circuit's off. Okay, so we're at a client's home and we're going to test these two next testers. So these you can get at Home Depot, Lowe's, any of those home hardware um, stores, uh, so home improvement stores, home hardware as well. So this is the non-contact tester, the pen tester that uh, we usually use. It's very quick. You just turn it on, uh, green light means it's dead. So obviously it's dead right now because there's no circuit near it. Um, it also works as a non-contact tester, so it works perfect for wires like this is a panel of the customer's home and uh, we're going to clean it up a little bit. But uh, So you can test it on the side of the wire as well. So it shows that obviously indicates red, bad, so it indicates that the circuit is on. So this is beautiful for any wires you might, if you're demoing something in your home or um, any kind of in, in indication you need to see whether a wire is on or not. Um, this one's off, as you can tell um, by the green light. Um, this is the main cable here, it's on. So it's very useful because it could actually pull through the side of most jackets on the NMD wires or uh, just the household wires. So there's some cables that it won't read through, some of the older ones it won't read through, but uh, so you can't always test uh, or believe that this is uh, an accurate representation. So some of the older jackets, like I said, you cannot read it through. Um, so it also works well with a non tamper resistant receptacle um, where you could actually shove it in and show and just kind of leave it there sometimes and then you could go to the panel and shut it off. So it's a pretty loud noise, so it sh indicates. Um, you, could al also, uh, you could also go to the panel yourself and shut down the circuit, so that's a really good one. And this one is uh, just a plug-in tester. It's very good for um, testing to see if the circuit's okay. So there's many different uh, options on there. So there's open ground, open neutral, open hot, hot ground reverse, which is Crazy. I've never seen that before. It was a bad, bad indicator. And then there was hot neutral reverse, I've seen that before. And then correct, the two amber colors, orange colors on the right side. If they're lit, that's perfect. Um, any, other, uh, any other combination is a bad. So we get to plug this in as well. And you might not be able to see it, but it's lit up as well. So that means the circuit is okay, it means it's grounded and uh, everything's good for that. It doesn't show you the voltage, but it just shows you if it's live or not. So that's a good indicator, and you can go to the panel, you can have someone here shut off the circuit. Um, so essentially this would be how it would look. There you go, you got it off. So the same thing could work with your plug-in tester. So that could work as well. Oh, it's off, so it's a really good indicator. So. Those are a few of the things, uh, safety features that we use. I'd say uh, normally we use this non-contact tester the most and we double check with our, um, with our other multimeter. So we got this there as backup, so we want to double check our circuit. So those are some safety features we got. Just a little recommendation, always make sure the circuit's dead and you confirm it. So there you go, a little safety tip for you today.